i welcome you all to the second lecture of uh, dhyanalok special lecture series which is being organized to celebrate national social work week 2023 uh, this uh, lecture is basically in organized in collaboration with uh, national association of professional social workers in india uh, department of social work directorate of distance and continuing education utkal university odisha and kalahand university and uh, once again i welcome you all and today we have with us uh, an eminent speaker professor ankur saxena who is uh, the secretary of uh, nafsi it is our privilege to have uh, professor saxena and who will be delivering on Uh, csr and its health aspects in india and in order to introduce Pr- professor saxena we have with us uh, dr rajkishor mahana dr rajkishor mahana is the head of the department of anthropology kalahandi university additionally he is in charge of, uh, charge of director of research and development cell director of director of human resource development center and he is also ohd to vice chancellor of kalahandi university uh, dr mahana is uh, no, heading a number of departments and uh, uh, he has vast experience in both academics and research and administration i request uh, dr mahana to introduce our speaker of this lecture over to you sir uh, thank you pradeep bhai uh, for your nice and kind introduction and uh, i take this privilege to introduce uh, a very good evening to all i welcome you all to this second day of a ganloka special series which is being orga- organized as pradeep said in collaboration with the national association of professional social workers in india ddc utkal university and kalahand university bhavani patna odisha today we have uh, with us an eminent speaker professor ankur sakshan welcome you sir Professor uh, Ankur Saxena has been in academics for over uh, two decades. He has been currently imparting his service as an academician in the Department of Social Work, the Maharaja uh, Sayaji Rao University of Baroda. As far as uh, his educational uh, qualifications are concerned, he received his Bachelor in Science from Faculty of Science, MS uh, University of Baroda. Later on, he did his uh, Master's in Social Work. from the same university then also he completed his doctoral philosophy in social work uh, from the same university apart from these he completed his pg diploma in human resource development in education and psychology from ms uh, university of baroda again additionally he also completed pg diploma in irpm from bharatiya vidya uh, bhavan baroda and he has guided many phd scholars Uh, so far uh, eight of his phd scholars have been awarded with phd degree uh, professor saxena has completed six research projects as principal investigator in addition uh, being an ambitious academic uh, in the field he is also a volunteer at various national uh, ngo and uh, voluntary organizations he is also a trainer in the area of corporate social responsibility as an expert of human resource development he has been invited by various national colleges across india to deliver talks he is an uh, active participant of national and international conferences organized in the field of social work csr and human resource management professor saxena uh, professor saxena is known as a person who is an excellent communicator and a stalwart in the field he has uh, presented uh, numerous papers in national and international conferences he has about he has published more, more than 30 uh, kind of papers uh, and uh, book chapters in various journals and uh, books additionally he has also spearheaded a kind of a book which uh, is titled as corporate social responsibility readings and texts at present Professor Saxena serves as the secretary of the prestigious National Association of Professional Social Workers in India. Out of his vast knowledge, experience, and understanding on corporate social responsibility, Professor Saxena will deliver uh, today 
on CSR activities in India. On behalf of Ganlok and the NAPSI, Utkal University and Kalahandi University, and all the participants of this today's lecture, I welcome Professor Sakshana to the second day lecture or series of Ganlok Trust, and I request you, sir, to address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Unmute, sir. Sir, sir you are muted. Yes, unmute, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Ramkrishna ji, for those uh, kind words. Uh, uh, I'm first of all thankful to Gyanlok Bhuvneshwar Pradeep Sahu ji. Oh, mere piche lagye the, sir. Apko karna hai, karna hai. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for inviting me this uh, for this lecture. Uh, my very good friend Ashutosh Pradhanji, professor and head of the Department of Social Work, uh, uh, Central University of Himachal Pradesh, Dharamshala, uh, respected uh, participants and uh, dignitaries and elites uh, in this conference. Uh, uh, like um, uh, I'm not an expert into the field of CSR. I'll just share some of my thoughts into CSR because uh, we are uh, we at Faculty of Social Work. Uh, we are a very prim, uh, a prominent institute uh, where we uh, look at the resource crunch. Hum sarkar se so every time uh, you cannot fight with the government because we are a state government university. And uh, with the passage of time, uh, things uh, you need to have an improvement in the infrastructure you need to have improvement in uh, physical uh, assets uh, of an in institute and the university and uh, corporate social responsibility ki baat karte hai, when we speak about that it is not a uh, new term it, it has been practiced Tata's dekhte hai. we look at various uh, philanthropic organizations we look at various individual groups uh, so, so they were into uh, this uh, uh, something called as corporate social responsibility. So, uh, this uh, how this uh, concept came to uh, uh, mind is basically, of course, CSR is a now has come as a management concept, uh, company where companies integrate their social and environmental concerns uh, in their uh, uh, business operations and interactions with the. Uh, stakeholders so uh, like uh, now this has come uh, in a new way okay? we are talking about corporate social responsibility years back uh, decades back tata used to do, uh, do birla used to do but uh, they never branded something which a corporate social responsibility now something uh, came into the companies at 2013 and uh, fir, then we thought at social work uh, ki ab kya kare? Kaise resources generate kare? The problem with the I am since with a state university, so my problem is that the government says that you have salary and what do you need? Why do you need? How do you do resources? Kare? And this is the reality. You go and ask for, we need this. You give a budget of 1000, 100 rupees, they'll give you 10 rupees. You want to organize a national conference, we need किसी को बुलाने के लिए भी हमको शर्म आती यूजीसी का सेमिनार करना है तो 40000 देते हैं अभी 40000 में तो क्या होता है एंड इट केम वी आर इन अ वेरी वेरी कैच 22 सिचुएशंस दैट हाउ टू जनरेट द रिसोर्सेज एंड द अदर साइड दैट डिमांड्स देयर एक्सपेक्टेशंस आर टू मच कैन यू इनवाइट यू हैव हैव 100 पार्टिसिपेंट्स टू डेज थ्री डेज बट देन प्लीज गिव अस द फंड्स सो देन and since Gujarat, uh, Baroda city, we have a lot of industries across. So in that context, uh, we started uh, a diploma also that is called as a certificate course. And that is called as corporate PG diploma. It is an evening uh, certificate course. First year, it was diploma. But then uh, hota hai ki demand and supply, nahi hota hai, jobs. Nahi hote hai. So then uh, we made it to uh, certificate course in corporate social responsibility and students started coming up so it was three months six months uh, diploma and uh, uh, since uh, Gujarat happens Baroda I am talking about Baroda city in specific there are a lot of uh, industries uh, uh, which have come up uh, which have come up uh, and like uh, our students are there so Jabham like uh, so this corporate social responsibility there are n number of areas where CSR comes in where CSR comes and 
uh, what is now the objective when we look at this corporate social responsibility one important thing is that we have to change our attitude that companies you ask and companies will give you money no now that has gone they are strictly they are very vigilant about it you first give us a proposal and then only they will do a need analysis okay, whether these people need money or not they have a full full dedicated team hr department ke andar in the hr department they have got a full dedicated needs and they will do a need analysis whether our proposals are being scrutinized they are very clear about whatever a single penny they are going to give and with when we talk about this corporate social responsibility one very important aspects which we need to understand as all the participants is basically what is return on investment what is roi how do we look if i give you this amount into corporate social responsibility what is the return of investments so if we look at so there are n number of areas environmental so if you look at csr it has been categorized into four areas environmental responsibility ethical human uh, rights responsibility philanthropic responsibility and economic responsibility so it varies from organ place to place country um, uh, state to state and city to city you go to uh, ut uh, hindustan unilever was there so they were manufacturing uh, Uh, thermometers uh, which we medical thermometers so uh, the biggest threat was uh, their uh, mercury and uh, like whatever the waste were there so what it had it had an impact on the environment the drinking water the ground level okay so uh, like it depends it depends upon the vision mission uh, of the organizations what they want to work so it can be for the girl child education it can be for the environment it can be for the uh, it can be for the health today what i am going to speak uh, when i talk about corporate social responsibilities i will talk about something related to how it has uh, impacted on the health how csr comes and interplay uh, will share some of the examples also how organizations are there i'll uh, maybe i'll just come to the ppt also but before that i'm talking about one of an organization which is called as transpexilox Transpexilox Industries Limited. It is located in Baroda, and what they have done is now looking to the need of a community. They have installed around 70 dialysis machines. They have installed 70 dialysis machines. What can be the cost? Can anyone say what can be the cost of one dialysis? Approx. okay so if we go outside in a private hospital in baroda i am talking a private hospital it charges around 5000 to 7000 rupees per dialysis which is not affordable with the common the poor sections of the society and that's where these as a part of corporate social responsibility what this transpexilox did they installed n number of dialysis machine and the per cost of dialysis is just 200 n number of charitable organizations are there lnt larsen and tubro like in our baroda city they have got a health center where you go absolutely it is just not only dialysis but apart from dialysis n number of treatment n number of treatments are available so how do we look at this concept of uh, uh, corporate social uh, responsibility so i hope the uh, ppt is visible sir Yes, sir. It is visible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the title is "Role of Corporate Social Responsibility in Preve Prevention and Promotion of Health Issues," and I'll share some of the glimpses from uh, Gujarat. Okay. So uh, uh, this presentation aims to explain data on health expenditure in India and explore CSR practices, particularly in the context of prevention and promotion of, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, promotion of health issues. And I think each of us. Uh, among this group elite group each of us have got medically we are all worried about what will happen to our health health happens to you go to public health systems it's crowded and we know during covid 19 what was the conditions of the public health systems there was sometimes some states did good but yes uh, if i'm talking about my city there was a mismatch between the demand and supply 
so the question arises does do the corporate consider health as an issue to be taken care of and what can be strategies initiatives uh, and csr so uh, as per uh, uh, csr spend date on healthcare in 1617 uh, by indian csr outlook uh, report uh, like uh, public private healthcare initiatives under csr uh, and by certain companies and this will be the road map health related uh, related csr intervention by selected corporates in gujarat and some of the suggestions and references so if we look at uh, csr uh, what organization wants to do it's it wants to create a the value the ultimate purpose of csr is to maximize share value among organizations it employs is it customers its shareholders and community members while the precise value looks different from each of these stakeholders the mutually beneficial nature of csr initiatives can still be sustained so what they do is they create a value on one side if you look at this continuum societal value added and the other side is share value added so they try to collaborate solve complex social and environmental issues where the government cannot reach corporate csr has come in they create a new value products and services in terms of new processes alliances markets new business models that can mean societal and customer needs community investment the 4c strategic philanthropy social venture capital employee voluntary and what's the control control on the cost the risk liabilities and the negative aspects so sort some of the in the villages there were no washrooms for girls in the villages in the schools and immediately the company came up with the csr yes they don't give the money they are now very clear about it we are not there to give the money they want yes how can we create a value among the stakeholders how can we collaborate how can we cooperate so through their initiatives what is one of the objective after complying with the law law of the land they have added value to the society infrastructure which the panchayats could not do they made they pitched in they say we'll take care of your primary health care centers so if you look at devos in 2018 they said we are coming out of the csr phase it is now about how a company behaves in its core operations with regard to the community the planet and the other un sustainability goals the corporate sector has a pivotal role to play in ensuring private investments owes to those rural areas that have been left out the development process so far these are the words by united nations foundation ceo kathy kelvin our urban cities are so congested because of migrations now the process so what now csr if you go we went to the organization we said we need this they said sorry maybe 10% we will give you but our 90% of the budget is allocation for development of the rural villages of the rural community if we look at the health status in india the problems of ill health high mortality due to lack of preventive healthcare issues are most acute in rural areas around 6 lakh 38000 villages according to 2011 census nhrms flows down district level health sub districts community health center phc sub centers the health department's lowest administrative unit is a sub center which services a population of this of about 5000 people so uh, this is about india's per capita general uh, government health expenditure just 23 dollar how can we improve uh, this is a source i've taken from global health expenditure database april 2017 maybe the things have opened up 
you look at pgi chandigarh i hope uh, august audience is aware about it the annual budget is 212100 crore rupees while aims delhi is 2700 crores of rupees other aims all india institute of medical sciences that have been opened you go to rishikesh bhopal the annual uh, the budget outlay is just 500 crores of rupees and they don't function at that particular level and again there is a mismatch between the demand and the supply uh this is a, a data uh, which i have taken the sources mentioned world health organizations ranking of the world's health india 215 how do we look at the difference how do we look at the per capita income so the gujarat csr outlook report released in 2007 highlighted the csr projects and programs of 15 16 with detailed analysis of csr spend thematic spend and implementing model it shook as gujarat few of the flagship csr project so the total csr spend by sample 160 companies in gujarat alone is 375.66 crores as per national study done by ngo box gujarat gets 5.2% of total csr spend of india so amongst the corporates were reliance industries uh, who paid highest contribution of 24.58 crores uh, followed by adani ports and uh, and special economic zone which spent about 23.4 Uh, 46 crore in total. Uh, so these are some of the areas uh, where CSR spent. I am talking about uh, 16, 17, poverty, health, education, skills, so on and so forth. Uh, then again, <clears throat> if you look at the KPMG uh, healthcare, uh, uh, education and healthcare amount for 56 percent of the total uh, spent towards CSR initiatives. Uh, expenditure towards education has increased over 92% over last 3 years from 1249 crores to 2404 crores uh, so uh, these are the implementing agencies with an expenditure to the tune of inr 3014 crores uh, again uh, some of the organizations uh, they have also Uh, and now what organizations have done see the industries we look industries are just a profit motive no uh, when i look uh, to industries they are very clear their policy is very clear they have become professionalism they say we just don't want to give the money i'll again reiterate that csr the companies you ask for money they'll say no they have very clear cut agenda and they says they say if we want to spend money these are the sustainable development goals out of the 17 sustainable development goals they say these are the five areas under which so every corporate have their own own sustainable development goals where they pump in the money where they uh, given uh, for building up the infrastructure uh, so uh, uh, this is uh, one of the baroda based uh, 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 transpexilox uh, where i was talking about where they have installed dialysis machine uh, hand washing techniques at anganwadi transpexilox industries limited uh, uh, this is interactions uh, interaction with villages uh, villagers regarding self hygiene uh, they have got a van they have purchased a van and they have uh, exclusive uh, department uh, that is working for the uh, for the rural community in the areas of the healthcare Uh, mobile health unique uh, so uh, and this villagers they come they have got every day they planned week uh, uh, entire week three days one day here two day here three day here four day here so what we as an educational institute have done is we have done a collaboration we have done a networking our students they go there so it is just not into hr so what we have done is our so it is a learning it is a collaboration how can we reach to the unreached sections of the society and health is such where people are concerned again one of the area menstrual hygiene awareness in the school thermex india limited now a new term that has come is menstrual hygiene menstrual empowerment universities indian railways many organizations now they have come up with an idea of having a vending machines for the girl students in the schools in the corporates 
in the universities. And I think awareness plays a very, very important role. Earlier universities, if I look at my faculty, we never had a sanitary machine napkin, but we have installed. We have installed an incinerator. So uh, some of the corporates uh, uh, like uh, Cane India to enable better health, uh, better access to health and nutrition services to women, children and adolescents. What is their objective? Their objective is to reach 73 villages across the district, Rajkot, Morbi, Jamnagar, Piramal Enterprises. Uh, I would like to uh, place on record Piramal Enterprises. We have seen money ATMs, but in Ahmedabad, Piramal Glass, Piramal Enterprise in the rural areas, uh, sorry, in the urban areas and the rural areas of Ahmedabad slums, they have installed water ATMs. RO water is being given and it is not free of cost on a minimal because whenever the services in CSR or whenever you do a charity, whenever we are giving free of cost, the aspect, it has been misused. So this Piramal Enterprise, they have installed water ATMs into the rural areas as well as the urban slums pockets in Ahmedabad city. And whatever the RO water, and we know when there is a processing of RO water, it does not go waste. Apart from giving water to them, whatever the water through the process has been lost, it has been used for the vegetation purpose. Then again, the Enig Jagran, uh, this is the newspaper CSR wing. Uh, they have again uh, uh, like uh, painted uh, uh, to drive behavior change towards hygiene and sanitation. Wadia group. Uh, then again, Adani uh, group. Uh, they have dedicated inclusive growth and sustainable development towards nation building and not only in communities it is involved. They focused their areas in healthcare, community health, hygiene and sanitation. Project is to portion working towards healthier future. Deepak group, which was established in 1982, they come with a vision of providing healthcare facilities to the families of workers and local communities residing in the industrial area of Nandeshwari in our Barora city, in our government hospital, that is Sir Sajji Rao government hospital, they have this Deepak Foundation has initiated a help desk. They have, they have kept, they've installed e-buggies for faring of the patient from one ward to other. And these e-buggies are being operated by women. One of a notable example of when we talk about healthcare is, I hope this August audience is aware about Akshay Patra Foundation, which works on PPP model, public private model. Akshay Patra, an NGO from Bangalore, government of Gujarat and government of India and the industries in and across uh, uh, Gujarat, they have tied up and they are supplying the food to the primary schools in the villages. I have seen the midday meal scheme of this state, which was where we had sometimes cockroaches, sometimes lizard into the food. And now this is an innovation that they have taken. And one of the reason, and when we look at the Sakshya Patra Foundation on public-private partnership, what it has done is through the food, right to food, right to education, and right to future. These are the three objectives that they were able to achieve. And when the food was given, the attendance, there was a lot of absenteeism and slowly and steadily the gross enrollment ratio increased. Education increased and the third most important is the nutritional status also. Our students who go to the fieldwork to these village areas, they used to carry tiffin boxes. Now they, they have started having the food of provided by Akshapa Patra Foundation. I think we as social work professionals, we need to network. We need to have this public-private partnerships and how we can ensure that sustainability of such type of projects can be taking place. Uh, a classical example I would like to quote here with this August audience is a classical example of Amul Anand Milk Users Limited, which is working in the 636 areas, the villages of Kheda district, where their focus is on mother and child healthcare. 
their focus is on the livelihood stock they have trained trainers midwives program it is just not only so if you go to one village which have population of 5000 or 500 there will be 50 midwives who are there and this again through amul through government of india unicef and world health organizations go to house and house wherever there are trained guys so they this trivon das foundation what they have done is they have made a kits and those kits consist of cotton gauze gloves a scissor whenever there is an emergency in delivery and where there is no transportation available midwives are there who are trained and this blade is used to cut the umbilical cord and i think that's how through corporate social responsibility one of the objective is how we empower the communities how we are, uh, empower the rural livelihood this is again the health checkup camp uh, which has been organized uh, by uh, deepak nitrate limited again uh, what i was been talking about uh, uh, the Tribhuvan Das Foundation, which is a flagship uh, NGO through Anand Milkar uh, Amul, uh, which was been established by his, uh, Shri uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Vargis Kurianji. Uh, and like they are into immunization through vaccination, BCG, triple vaccine, polio, measles, anti rabies at subsidized rate. Arvind Mills, they started with the Shaga Trust. The objective is to improve the quality of life of the urban poor in India. Atul Group, uh, they started with Atul Foundation, which is based in Balsad, to bring out all the activities related to serving the society under one umbrella. And their programs in the area of conservation, education, empowerment, health, infrastructure, and uh, relief. Again, uh, this is an uh, uh, organization. It is an uh, MNC called as Scheffler India Limited. Uh, awareness programs of uh, importance of sanitation that is uh, FAG, which is in German MNC. Uh, training programs for ASHA worker and AM. And again, this has been uh, conducted by, sponsored by FAG. Again, we have got uh, Zydus Wellness Limited. Uh, they are, uh, they are, they have tied up with Gujarat Cancer Society and uh, they focus more on the preventive healthcare. Uh, Cadilla Healthcare. Uh, can uh, uh, Gujarat Cancer Society, GNFC, again, it is a government of Gujarat undertaking uh, where they are involved into a lot of Reliance Industries, which have got multiple uh, manufacturing process. One is at Jamnagar, and they cater to the local communities in Jamnagar through uh, water conservation and storage tanks. This is again uh, uh, the outreach uh, identification of health related issues, CSR activities. So uh, what we do is uh, we tie up uh, with MNCs and they say you do a survey for us, uh, need assessment survey uh, related to the health or maybe vice versa. And then uh, through this interaction, what we do is we submit a proposal and then the organizations organize uh, the MNCs uh, through their CSR wing uh, focuses, uh, uh, focuses on the areas of intervention. So. If we look at uh, uh, what are the basic principles of CSR, one is the sustainability, second is the accountability, and the third is the transparency. So CSR works on the three principles of three important principles, sustainability, accountability, and uh, uh, transparency. This is an NGO, Swadesh, Society for Village Development in Petrochemicals area. So we have got uh, Indian Oil, that is Gujarat Refinery and Reliance Industries. And uh, these are the member industries of Swadesh, IPCL, IOCL, JSFC. Uh, and what they do is uh, they uh, contribute uh, every year and uh, like uh, they organize the programs in the rural community where they work. Uh, this is again a sanitation awareness uh, program, uh, yoga training programs. Uh, then uh, so now a lot of focus household sanitary latrines this is one of a very very important area under and they have again tied up with swach bharat abhyan eye checkup camps they have got mobile units or uh, sometimes what it happens is the, uh, these such type of uh, health checkup camps are being held in the schools also or the premises uh, 
some of the initiatives by ONGC Baroda, uh, how uh, they are involved into manufacturing of low cost sanitary pads. So uh, uh, per one sanitary pad, the cost is two rupees. And uh, like uh, what they do is they employ most of the women, female workers only, female households, so that they can also uh, earn extra and uh, uh, like uh, they are being empowered. Again, these are the earthen incinerators used for disposal or sanitary napkins. And uh, what we at Faculty of Social Work, what we did was we purchased uh, from these NGOs, uh, these ag agencies uh, in our, uh, to keep it, uh, install it in the washrooms of our girls female students uh, this is uh, i was talking about the water atms and uh, this is the water atms as an initiative by pyramidal glass industry so uh, in uh, local language it is a uh, little uh, written in one rupee only uh, you get one liter 100 uh, percent shudh pani means pure drinking water but it is not free of cost so csr does not take it does not advocates free it has to be there has to be some cost which is then only there will be sustainability and whenever when we talk about free then there is a misuse there are chances that the resources are going to go waste aditya birla foundations uh, uh, they have got their own uh, hospitals clinic and where they uh, invite uh, rural girls uh, to teach them about the nursing and especially the first aid training so uh, this is how so during emergency if doctors are not available so these nurses are being trained who, who happens to be the rural and they also feel a sense of inclusion because these are the people who are excluded from the mainstream of the society so what corporates one of the one of the objective of corporate social responsibility is how can we talk about participation participation and participation so inclusions of now these uh, people rural people into the mainstream of the society again uh, they have initiated a small uh, medicine shop training for local medicines know how basic medicines uh, which can be uh, which can which are available uh, for first aid so uh, uh, just to conclude the essence of csr has always been embedded among the corporates in india in rural areas where the companies carry out CSR community development activities and healthcare, we need to integrate into operation. There is a strong commitment of CSR in corporate entities. Its practice, scope and magnitude varies in different companies and different situations within the same area. Uh, so uh, there are shining examples. It is not that CSR is here only. There are other parts also, other states also. but magnitude differs we need to i think we need to we need to uh, have to be this csr has to be need to be practiced more rigorously there are certain uh, types of uh, like uh, uh, csr like uh, and what are the, how do we look at those benefits of csr according to me one benefit of csr is increase employee engagement people are being there better bottom line financials now, many organizations, they feel, no, we just don't want to show it in our annual report. But yes, we want to ensure they are now working with the heart and head and hand. Yes, let people recognize us. More support for local and global communities. One of the important benefit of CSR is increased investment opportunities. certain students when we look at they say why you have come this time we have got a girl who is a bds she said no i'm not comfortable there i want to come to this faculty i want to be with the msw course and i want to serve the society when we have got our placement students some of the students they look how do you how do you what is your investment into csr what activities you have done I think the generation of students have changed. When I was a student, I never used to look at this vitals. But now the current students, apart from their job descriptions and salary package, they look into this, what the organization is doing. Press opportunities, one of the very important area why organization, one of the selfish motive of the organization they want to involve into CSR is press opportunities and brand awareness. 
look at hindustan unilever limited on national news now they they have changed their identity for fair and lovely they have come up with some, something new so for organizations they need a brand awareness they need to have a press opportunities the next one of the important benefit of csr is increased customer retention and loyalty if we look uh, i think the august audience here is there i think we hardly will anyone would criticize ratan tata or tata group they are so 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 very strong very strong employer brand why only few organizer you say tata and like they are ready to no nothing we don't have we don't judge tata is very ethically strong they never do wrong and this is how we an increased customer retention and loyalty i think tata jamshedpur they have got a zero attrition rate there are no vacancies people are wedded to the organizations why because of their philosophy because of their ethical practices recently shri ratan tata ji have been awarded conferred with maharashtra ratna award by the honorable uh, by the government of maharashtra so what a strong employer brand tata pune look at their innovations in their canteen they need to roll around 50000 chapatis in a shift you go to canteen and in terms of human resource management industrial relation canteen is the hub of all the issues the hr was very confused what to do if you give to a contractor to a tender some issues will come up a very innovative work they came they said why should we not employ the wives of the employees and they used to so there was a double employment they had a crutch also for the women who have got the children and the staff was there also there to take care of them of those children transportation was provided and this is how a win win situation was there they said no we want to generate employment csr is inclusions when we talk about this human resources it is just not male and female we need to look at the transgenders also and one of the area when we talk about corporate social responsibility when we talk about this developmental goal is we the organizations have started focusing on have started focusing on diversity equity and inclusions my class is incomplete because it does not have a transgender can we look so csr it is up to an organizations what area they want to work if we look at their initiatives their process ranging from voluntary activities managing external factors stakeholder management alignment of social and economic responsibility and considering practices uh, and values now organizations csr they focus on their values it varies from organization i cannot force but yes now corporates have become very very aware about it yes if we don't in, we don't have investment into the community if they are not if they are running away they don't want to run away from their social responsibility the csr has become more of now more uh, serious in that nature pehle aisa tha ki paisa de dete the ho gaya khatam ho gaya aur balance sheet mein de diya now they are they are very stringent about it they say no we need a return a return on investments they talk about roi and it now csr just does not work in silo csr now also works they involve their employees one of the organizations an ngo they gave 50000 rupees for a physically for a meet on differently able that organization say we just don't want to we will give the money but we want to ensure that our 50 employees will be part and parcel of this event and i think that's an approach we as social work professionals need to look as a professionals we need to, how can we collaborate collaborate and collaborate how can we network we need to learn a very important skill of networking i need to move out of my comfort zone and that's how 
each of us are going to learn and through this government of india had mandatory provisions of csr under section 135 of companies act 2013 which became effective from 142014 and the important so what was the focus the focus was of inclusive society which is an essential part of india's quest for development i think that's where we need to be now no more the villagers are felt isolated some or other corporates they are there but can the reach be extended more i went to one of a tribal area and i said no they are not. but yes the students in a primary school around uh, 300 kilometers uh, yeah around 300 kilometers we went for a camp and i was surprised to see one of the corporate as a part of csr they got their employees and they are teaching small children on the uh, uh, notebook digital notebook i said i was surprised i think we need not to i was feeling ashamed that how can i judge and this, the the students were very happy just recently the camp i took at one of the tribal area so Uh, i think we need to network the skill of networking is very very important and the inclusive growth has to be that has to be widely recognized an essential part of india's quest for development what are some of the uh, i'll just uh, quote and complete what are some of the challenges that csr face balancing of the expectations of different stakeholders when you give them we go say aap humko kya dene aaye ho and who are those those stakeholders the customers employees investors regulators media and communities so not necessary csr activity may not always please or benefit everyone or may even create conflicts or trade off among the stakeholders themselves usko jyade diya humko kam diya so these challenges we need to need to take care organizations need to work but i think that's i am talking about uh, we have one hour hall in our faculty and its name under under the great leader dr ambedkar ji so when we went to the government we said we need chairs they said sorry we don't have and each of us know how much time it takes went to immediately we went to gujarat refinery we said we don't need cash please help us in kind they came they did the assessment and immediately within next 10 15 days 300 chairs were installed in our auditorium so uh, sometimes it is time consuming also we cannot expect the change to happen over day but yes one thing is very important this csr focuses on the inclusive growth and which is an essential part of india's quest for development it has empowered the communities it has improved the nutritional status it has focused on uh, environment so whatever the so the concept of csr it varies from organization to organization it is and it is embedded, embedded in their vision mission it is embedded in their philosophy so uh, i think uh, we need to Uh, other day i was at one of the university today morning i came from chandigarh and they have resources crunch i said why don't you why don't you talk to why don't you have a network with multinational corporations but the in himachal pradesh happens to have a lot of corporates so now it is up to us how do we look at csr but yes it has it is mandatory i think it's uh, uh, that's a new skill that we need to network ourselves organizations need to network institutions need to network because over a period of time what happens is resources are reducing reducing and reducing how can we get the resources because we need basic things things are changing how resources can be generated not every time in cash maybe in terms of so when i look at my university so it goes to the 
uh, registrar office, then it takes a lot of time to get. So what we do is we say, please, sir, whatever, madam, you want to give us, MNC, we request them, please give us. And that's how we have been developing. I think what we are today is basically because of this corporate social responsibility. And it is just not only in terms of infrastructure, but in terms of knowledge, university industry interface, in terms of internships, in terms of learning, in terms of upskilling, because until unless we don't have the synergy of university industry interface, we are going to work into silos. I think now organizations of, are talking about artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. So are we ready? Are our institutions ready? Are our university ready? Are our students ready? And I think uh, this is how we can collaborate. We have an orientation program, so I asked some of the students, you must have seen the industry. Yes, sir, we are sorry. This is the first time I'm looking how an industry looks like. I think that's how we can, our role is to satisfy the curiosity of our various stakeholders. So uh, the concept, the scope of CSR, it varies from organization to organization, state to state, need of the uh, community and the stakeholders. So, uh, this is uh, any questions. So once again, I would like to thank uh, Gamlok Bhubneshwar Pradeep Sahuji and other guest elite for giving me this opportunity uh, to uh, I've shared some of my uh, views. Of course, I'm not an expert in CSR, but yes, I've shared uh, some of my thoughts and processes what CSR is. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I request audience uh, if they have any doubt or any question, they can raise their hand and ask question. Sumita, Sumita has a question. She has uh, written in the test box. How do companies decide with CSR activities to take an up? Is there any geographical constant in CSR activity to, to be taken up? Uh, yes, uh, uh, very good question. Uh, uh, yes, uh, madam, uh, there are uh, certain uh, uh, restrictions, geographical limitations. In fact, uh, we have got uh, in Baroda power grid of India Limited. So I wanted to, uh, uh, we want to, uh, we wanted to have a uh, social work congress in Ladnu, uh, Jain Vishnu Bharti University, and uh, so some uh, budget was uh, there. It was around five lakhs. So I approached Power Grid of India. They said, sir, we are very sorry. Uh, we give money there only where our units are located, where our manufacturing. So Ladnu does not have a office of power grid of India. They said, if you want in Baroda, you want in your university, I'll immediately sanction you five lakhs of rupees. So they're organized. So if I want uh, industries here, uh, there are certain industries which I showed the video. If I want to tell them you come to Uttar Pradesh or go to Bihar, they will say no, sorry, that is not our jurisdiction. So they are very clear because uh, they they mean they say that is within the territory only. And if I want to say that, OK, you go to Jamnagar, they will say no. If our industries manufacturing are located within 50 or 100 kilometers in Baroda district, then only within Baroda district, not out of Baroda district. So even if we go for uh, some uh, like uh, this thing, for example, Bank of Baroda has been established by our his Highness late Maharaja Saji Rao Gaikwad. Okay, so for seminar, if we want to go for sponsorship, so then they will give me. But if I ask some other university, you approach Bank of Baroda, they'll say, no, sorry, our jurisdiction is only uh, Baroda city because the headquarters of Bank of Baroda are located here. Uh, I think uh, Sumita has a question because Bank, bank is working in a all place. So bank are responsible to uh, do the CSR in a local area and depend on the is this area is serving. So how to decide the bank of India if this district is a specific for the CSR do uh, do this because uh, CSR 135 uh, 2013 yes. rules. So Sir. do the CSR in any area depend on the um, what kind of need. Uh, sir, uh, now what organizations have done is uh, they are doing a need assessment, sir. And the top vision is uh, very, very important. The BO, BOD, Board of Directors or Board of the Management, 
they play a very very important role uh, sir in our case uh, maybe please uh, I, i'll try to answer your question in our case uh, what happens is sir majority of the alumni are from our faculty uh, so uh, like uh, it's uh, difficult very difficult for us to reach at the top management so what we do is we talk to our students please try to convince your management to help us sir and this is how we are uh, uh, trying to do that sir so sometimes uh, even our uh, uh, alumni are there students are there then also sir we fail we face failures also so it is not every time sir we get success in getting the grant or getting an infrastructure and it takes a lot of time to convince them sir they say why they what n number of questions sir so and again it depends upon the vision mission yes what our vision mission is so we have to find a link sir so like bank of baroda uh, i go to approach journal manager uh, like journal manager who is looking so he will say no but then we have got one msw our student so we tell him nahi aap usko ja ke baat karo na please put and that's how sir we connect the links and we can connect the dots and then only so it is not that easy to even we face lot of issues uh, if we want to do it so if i'm organizing a conference to i need to start working 3 uh, months 4 months before because three proposals are there two will we are we know out of that six proposals four will say no only two will say that. so it takes sometimes it becomes even uh, we are expertise our faculty is very good 1949 faculty is there but then also sir uh, sometimes we face failure sir so it, uh, the, here we have to develop an art of convincing sir that is very important sir depend on the uh, management thank you so much sir this is a great and great you, session you, uh, and mr kuldeep ram can you please introduce yourself yeah i am kuldeep ram so currently i am working with the dbc as assistant manager in csr okay thank you thank you so much sir sir can you please sir, uh, stop uh, stop the uh, ppt sharing yeah yeah i'll do that sir once So another question, Chandra uh, Mohan, uh, can I want to ask a question? Chandra Mohan, can please. Uh, thank you, Pradeep. Namaste, sir. Uh, thank you for giving us insights into the great work that is done by CSRs in health and also with specific reference to Gujarat. It was a great learning. Um, at the same time my question uh, may not be in the context of the whole um, whole, whole ppt where what csrs are doing i would like to understand how uh, mid career professionals or if you have any suggestions for developing skills for mid career professionals who want to actively engage uh, or work with csrs of in in this growing era of importance of csr activities Uh, madam uh, what i would do is uh, i invite lot of students from other universities to come down to baroda and uh, if you are not working uh, so feel free to uh, approach me we'll put you into some of the corporates in baroda who are actively involved into csr so they do lot of work so i invited students from vishwa bharti uh, then uh, from uh, central university of himachal pradesh dharamshala Uh, punjab university so uh, i think uh, when you are a part of system we learn lot of things and i think networking is very very important convincing skill is very very important the third important is how do we formulate a project because uh, that project formulation skills are very very and like how to convince the top management yes whatever this is there this is important i think uh, uh, if, you, sorry if, if i you are, if if you are not working i would uh, be very happy see our university uh, we have got around 55000 students on campus it's a residential university so i'll be happy to host you to uh, baroda madam so it will be thank you so lovely. much sir sorry i missed uh, introducing myself actually i'm uh, currently working in an uh, international ngo as a mini manager based out of delhi acha 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 okay or maybe if you can come for a day or two uh, so will uh, i'll arrange your accommodations and logistics here and if you want uh, i can get connected to lnt reliance uh, then n number of mncs are there who do lot of work in those cs that could be a great opportunity for learning for me i'm sure so thanks a lot for and uh, i would be very happy if you can plan so i can arrange a lecture of yours for our students also so they can also so it's a mutual learning for you also as well as for us also. Sure, sorry, it would be my pleasure. 
management see if you look at ITC okay hmm. if you look at I, yes. ITC so they, they have got their global presence madam they yeah. are into Madhya Pradesh they are into Haryana they are into Punjab they are into Gujarat so usme kaisa hota hai the madam the top so if you look at the chairperson of the like I am talking about uh, YC Deveshwar late YC Deveshwar who happens to be an alumnus of uh, IIM uh, Ahmedabad he was a Uh, CEO, uh, chairman and managing director of ITC Group. Madam, during his tenure as uh, chairman and managing director of ITC, his CSR was into uh, has a uh, pan India presence. So, like if you look at farm to fork model, it was into that. So, like it depends. So here, uh, like uh, what happens is their objective. They come with a vision, mission. So. Uh, we need to uh, bring a uh, like uh, convince the management no you go here madam i had lo- i tried to convince uh, the general manager of power grid ke sir please help us in napsi uh, jain vishwa bharti uh, university uh, where ashutosh mm-hmm. ji was so i asked them ki sir can you please help us give us 5 lakhs uh, hamara pehchan wala fir bhi mana kar diya i'm sorry ankur bhai हमारा जो प्रेजेंस है दैट इज इन वेर एवर आवर प्रेजेंस इज उसने देखा बोले हमारा लाडनू में नहीं है तो हम नहीं देंगे आपको सो फिर आई कैन नॉट यूज देम हमारा फिर हां वो जीएम के पास जाएगा जीएम विल आउटराइट ही विल वी मे अप्रोच इवन अ सीएसआर व्हिच इज नॉट इन आवर इमीडिएट सराउंडिंग बट टू हेल्प अस इन एनी वे एंड इफ देयर इज अ प्रॉपर डेपो मे बी वी विल गेट अ हेल्प टू यस यस बट देन सर्टेन mncs are there on loka like uh, they have got uh, their vision is very broad so itc itc is a classical example yc deveshwar he had a pan india pan india uh, presence into csr because that industries are in a particular place in a particular place the density of industry is more just surrounding that if we we'll leave that 70 or 80% 80 uh, km radius after that when we go the need may be bare but there's no industry there so those people uh, will Gee. madam us us ka fir kaisa hota hai ki see certain organizations so yeah certain organization itc is a very selfish wo bolte hai humko branding karna hai madam see one of the benefit mm-hmm. of csr is how you want to brand press ka aapka kaisa hai madam to so, wo bhi rehta hai yes And you look at their can i am from paradip and paradip is a very good uh, csr fund but my village is very close by kujang when i had problem there i cannot uh, take this csr fund there i have to take some other help only so practically there are problems but yes you are right approach may change thank you rasna thank you sir professor ashutosh pradhan uh, want to ask any question sir please unmute sir and ask your question no actually i wanted a, wanted to give a supplement somebody raised a, a question as to relating to banks so banks they operate uh, throughout the country and also abroad so whether they can fund under csr uh, in any location i'm not sure uh, i do not have any uh, in depth knowledge about csr and uh, the functioning of organizations but uh, i think uh, each and every district has a lead bank 
so if there is a lead bank in a particular district if it is state bank of india probably they may be having uh, funds to uh, share and uh, fund you under csr activities under csr i'm not sure but uh, simply i was aware about this uh, concept of lead bank in banking so probably that that may satisfy you i have another uh, uh, what you call a query in the sense that uh, initially in the beginning uh, professor ankur sachena ji made a mention that uh, management students and uh, the management discipline has taken over csr uh, and uh, social work uh, has been left behind so as because because you are placed in baroda and there are a lot of industries in and around baroda and in uh, gujarat as a whole uh, as per your experience how do you think uh, we should uh, try and find out uh, a solution where social workers can take a lead professional social workers can take a lead and uh, again take over because uh, manage M management graduates means mba mba means uh, management of business administration so again they have a profit motive so the real spirit of csr to get lost if more and more management graduates enter in and they occupy lead positions under the csr program so ultimately it is the community uh, connect that uh, may work wonders and uh, social workers are trained to be uh, in close uh, contact with the community your views sir uh, sir dekhiye uh, like uh, of course uh, what you said is very right like in hamara uh, uh, jo like in baroda we have got an upper hand our msw have an upper hand msw and mhrm masters in human resource men so ab baroda mein majority of the industries mein jaiye so out of this time uh, current placement out of 98 uh, 78 persons have got the job sab hr mein hai sir so around 80% and the packages 40 lakhs lekin un log ne kya kara hai un log ko sikhate hain apni jagah banani hai aur sir wo upar ka to wo log wo un log ka jo md ka hai wo to yahi hai wo to aise hi bolta hai hum mba ko jyada denge theek hai hum ladai mein nahi karte we don't enter into fight no alteration hum apne bacche ko sikhate hain tumko company mein jao to apna rasta banana hai you have to create a value for yourself अपने चार में लोगों को भेजू को तुमको दो को नौकरी तो देनी देनी है सो भले सो व्हाट दे हैव डन इज राइट राइट सो वी वी आर एबल टू अभी आप मेरे को बोलोगे सब मैं धर्मशाला से पांच बच्चे को भेज रहा हूं अभी हमने कैसे जगह बना के रखा है तो हमने आशुतोष जी की धर्मशाला से एक स्टूडेंट को इधर जॉब भी दे दिया एम एस यूनिवर्सिटी में एज ए टेम्पररी टीचिंग असिस्टेंट लेके आए हम है ना सो वी हैव टॉट आवर स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ स्पेस फॉर योरसेल्फ आपको सोशल वर्कर की तरह वहां आपको रहना पड़ेगा भले एचआर में हो लेकिन यू हैव टू हैव अ डेवलप अ क्लोज कनेक्ट विद द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर बैक फुट में नहीं रहना है हमको ऐसा नहीं लेना कि हम झोले वाले लोग हैं नहीं हमारा वो काम नहीं हमको एंड नाउ विद चेंजिंग टाइम्स दे आर एबल टू क्रिएट अ वैल्यू फॉर देमसेल्फ तो uh so but then again we tell them you have to be a part of board meeting you have to come up agar aap wo nahi karoge to then you will be left behind because corporates meant it is survival of the fittest so sir dheere dheere hum apne profession ko rakha bhi jaise yahan gujarat mein if you look hr ka jaate hai but if you go to north uh, north of india more of medical and psychiatric social work to फ्रॉम रीजन साउथ इंडिया में जाइए किडवा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ऑनकोलॉजी नेम हैं तो एम एस डब्ल्यू दे गो इन टू मेडिकल एंड साइकेट्रिक सोशल वर्क अभी एम्स में फिफ्टी सेवेंटी फाइव एम एस डब्ल्यू होंगे अभी उनका रिक्रूटमेंट आ रहा है सो एंड बट वी टेल देम कि यू नीड टू पुश 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 और मेडिकल सुप्रिंटेंडेंट डायरेक्टर के साथ आपको काम करना है देन ओनली यू विल बी रिकोगनाइज अगर आप पीछे खड़े रहे तो फिर आपको Uh, nahi hoga so we teach them the skills and we 
literally push on them if you want you have to assert yourself then only our flag of social work will fly high thank so you right, sir. sir thank you sir actually sir uh, professor asutosh prandhan and me together we are working on a paper on csr spending in uh, india and i found uh, probably gujarat is the second largest uh, spending state in the uh, in, in india next to maharashtra ji just i want to know sir actually if nationally nationally if you will see the csr spending is highest in education and skill development uh, and then uh, health Healthcare, जी, जी. but what is the trend of Gujarat uh, CSR spending? Is it the same uh, as national no picture is showing, or it is something different? Uh, sir, uh, like according to me, uh, Gujarat में थोड़ा ज़्यादा है sir spending. तो जैसे अभी कैसा है अभी आप हमारा यहाँ पास में ही मेरे घर से just three kilometers. So, sir, my my concern is the sectoral spending. भेज दूंगा की क्या है सर okay sir okay sir and, and another question i have like if you see uh, the state wide expenditure bihar uh, as a major state is having the lowest something 78 or 80 crores in a year however uh, maharashtra is spending 3000 3400 or something in a year if we will talk about inclusive development sir how this will be uh, possible as there is limitation in csr spending because there is a locality or regional limitations in the spending of csr yes yes absolutely absolutely sir you are absolutely right pura nahi ho raha but at least ye ho raha hai sir what is happening is a small area a small cluster is developing sir i think uh, these organizations who have worked sir it took them years together to uh, come up sir so uh, those limitations are going those challenges are there sir expectations bahut hai abhi aapne phc banaya to bolte hai pura hospital bana do अब सर हॉस्पिटल्स के लिए यू नीड ऑल ऑपरेशन थिएटर एंड देन यू नीड पीपल डॉक्टर्स टू कम डाउन हियर टू द रूरल एरियाज टू स्टे सो देन यू रियली नीड टू लुक एट दोज अभी नाउ एवरीवन इज रनिंग टूवर्ड्स अर्बन सेंटर सर बिकॉज वहाँ सैलरीज बहुत है अभी देर इज वन आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल द नेम द हेच में एक हॉस्पिटल है एंड लाइक दे रियली गिव मतलब जो हॉस्पिटल्स से मिलता है उससे ज्यादा उनको Uh, salary dete and then only the students the doctors are staying there and it is a tertiary care hospital sir bas and those people ki ha mere ko samaj ke liye kuch karna hai social service koi rukte hai baki to sir very difficult attrition uh, retention is a very exactly sir actually when you will see the csr spending among the developed states the spending is less and among Jee. the no least developed states the spending is also yes, equally less yes, yes yes that that is the no challenge of no sustainable development or inclusive development uh, when we are uh, thinking about no because we are trying to no connect the aspirational district and csr spending right. but we did, we did not find any any no, no impressive no result by by correlating the things okay thank you so much sir any other question anybody is having Yes, San B. San B, want to ask any question? To raise to your hand. Your name is not actually uh, so written, so I am calling San B. No, I was only telling you that banks are covered under CSR, and uh, they earn profit. Therefore, they are also under CSR, and they have they are doing many activities. HDFC Bank is one of the leading in the welfare. so banks are covered under that this is what i was trying to tell thank you sanvi ji uh, okay okay i think sir uh, uh, another question asked by pratima patnaik how can csr strategies and social work approach stay relevant and impactful in the face of changing social and economic condition uh, see uh, uh... 
uh, like now it is basically uh, what it has done is uh, one of the uh, aspect of the CSR is inclusive, inclusive development. So what corporates do is just not only one Hamlet, okay, but they involved into that. And uh, my experience is majority of the CSR, our students are there. I went to JCB. So like the girls are from our faculty only. So they are very clear about our curriculum, casework, group work, field courses, method courses, and background courses. So what they do is when they, they go to the community, they involve all the people from all the stakeholders. So they involve all the people. So at least in our state, uh, in our city, we are uh, and all the students, uh, uh, CSR are basically our students only. So when they are uh, and they have passed from our uh, faculty, so they are very clear. So this Uh, I think uh, you got your answer, uh, Pratima. Okay. Uh, any other question? I think there is uh, no more question. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, as thank you very you. rightly told, uh, CSR, the uh, motto of CSR is sustainability, adaptability, and uh, transparency. Of course, it is visible in 2014-15. CSR spending was 10,000 crore. Now it has been uh, it has been something more than 20, 25,000 crores uh, nationally. So it shows the transparency in CSR and the government definitely they are trying to know bring more transparency in it. And uh, you, uh, the, you by 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 presenting the picture of Gujarat, particularly Baroda and uh, nearby uh, places. Uh, which is one of the second largest you know, uh, uh, spending country in uh, state in, st in terms of CSR. And uh, basically, we found health expenditure, education expenditure was the major you know, area of spending in, CS, uh, in Gujarat uh, from your presentation. Of course, other, other uh, aspects are also focused, but these are the major things. And really, it was a very nice and you know, uh, erudite presentation. Uh, we are really grateful. We understand, sir, uh, how much busy you are uh, because the uh, social work is, uh, week is going on, and uh, every day probably you are you know, delivering more than three, four, five uh, uh, lectures. But thank you so much to, to uh, accept our uh, request and present such a nice one of the emerging topic. Uh, and where the scope of social workers is gradually increasing in that sector. Thank you so much for, for, for your nice presentation. Thank you, thank you, sir. thank you, thank you. So thank you. I...